No Aaron Rodgers versus Cam Newton. No Dak Prescott versus Russell Wilson or Matt Ryan versus Drew Brees. No, the headline of the NFC Championship game is Case Keenum versus Nick Foles. And no two guys are more deserving than them. And only one of them are about to headline a Super Bowl. And who's that going to be? The NFC Championship game preview starts right now. So the top two teams in the NFC for all of 2017 have held up their end of the bargain, <clears throat> Pittsburgh, and they made it to the big championship game. And now while neither has, you know, the big name, sexy star available to them right now, only these two teams can handle Jacksonville or New England in the Super Bowl hypothetically. Just look at it this way. Los Angeles, while they're young and exciting, would simply crumble under Super Bowl pressure because of the inexperience. The Falcons, they've been an average team that has feasted on favorable circumstances the past two years. And in Carolina, Cam Newton is at a quarterback crossroads right now and wouldn't be able to handle the tricks Belichick would play on him, nor would he be able to deal with Jacksonville's relentless defense without turning the ball over two or three times because of his mediocre receivers. These two teams are balanced, well-oiled machines that can withstand the loss of players and still keep it moving, as evidenced by the loss of their starting quarterbacks. They are as equally talented as they are born, but one team has something going for it that the other simply does not, and that's luck and emotion. I'm not going to say the Minnesota Vikings won it more than the Eagles. That'd be foolish because guys on both sides of the ball have worked their entire lives for this moment. But I can confidently say they are more emotionally invested, and the ball is turning in their favor. A few years ago, I said this about my Ravens. I said, if by the grace of God we get past Peyton Manning in the divisional round, we are going to the Super Bowl, no questions asked. What happens in Denver? The Mile High Miracle. From that point on, there is no stopping us. Not the great Tom Brady, not a young hotshot like Colin Kaepernick in the league working against us and cutting out the lights to help the 49ers mount a comeback. Some things are just destiny. We've been talking about the Stephon Diggs play all week. When do we ever see a walk-off touchdown like that in the NFL win? Philly had a great resurgent year and their future looks bright, but right now it's Minnesota's time. You have a hometown boy like Adam Thielen who's playing the best football of his life. You have Stephon Diggs who just made something out of nothing. You have a previously mediocre quarterback, Case Keenum, playing out of his mind right now. And what's the next stop? What's up next? A Super Bowl on your home turf. It's Minnesota's time. Both these teams are evenly matched with strong defenses and run games with weapons all over the offense, but emotion and circumstance drives players every year. And that emotion and circumstance allows some guys like a Case Keenum, like an Adam Thielen, to play what's probably past their actual talent level. When it's all said and done, Case Keenum has spearheaded a top 10 scoring offense for the season. While Nick Foles is late to the party, and he hasn't really flashed since arriving. I trust this Minnesota defense more because these guys, they pound you. I believe after a couple of hits that drive him into the ground, Nick Foles will have that deer in the heads like look and eventually crumble. The stars are aligning for just one team in the playoffs this year. Last year we saw it with the Falcons, before it was the Broncos, before it was the Ravens. And right now the football gods are turning their eyes towards Minnesota.